In this video, we explain the concept of the fraction at equilibrium. Okay, so imagine a chemical equilibrium like this. We have only one reagent and one product. They are both solutes in an ideal dilute solution in water. And then uh, what we're trying to calculate here is something that is called the fraction of equilibrium. And the fraction of equilibrium uh, uh, is going to be uh, the amount of product that you get, okay, the concentration of product that you get, divided over the total concentration of species in uh, solution. Okay, so that will be the concentration of A plus the concentration of B. Right? Uh, that's what it, we define as the fraction of product at equilibrium. Now the question is how do we calculate this from uh, the equilibrium constant? Well, uh, the equilibrium constant for this reaction would be equal to uh, the concentration of B at equilibrium okay, over one molar over the concentration of A at equilibrium over uh, one molar. Okay. Again, uh, the definition of the fraction at equilibrium asks you to actually uh, do this when you reach equilibrium. Okay. So the question is, well, how can we actually, um, um, you know, put this uh, fraction at equilibrium uh, uh, as a function of the equilibrium constant? Well, what we say is that we don't directly have the equilibrium constant anywhere here, but one of the things that we can do to incorporate here the equilibrium constant is divide uh, through uh, by the more concentration of reagent. Okay? Uh, we can actually, just for convenience, uh, cancel out those uh, reference concentrations, standard concentrations, and notice that the equilibrium constant turns out to be uh, concentration of B at equilibrium over the concentration of A at equilibrium. At equilibrium. Okay, so we can come here and say, well, uh, if I divide uh, both in the numerator and in the denominator by the concentration of A, I'm going to be able to uh, put in here what uh, the concentration of B at equilibrium would be. Okay, so uh, and the equilibrium constant. All right, so again, dividing through by the uh, more concentration of reagents, we find the following over concentration of A at equilibrium, over the concentration of A at equilibrium, plus the concentration of B at equilibrium, over the concentration of A at equilibrium. Okay? And because we have divided uh, in the numerator and the denominator by the same factor, then the expression hasn't changed. That's still the fraction of product at equilibrium. Well, uh, we recognize that that's simply the equilibrium constant and uh, these two terms cancel to one, and then that would be one plus k. Okay, so this is uh, uh, a connection between the fraction of product equilibrium and the equilibrium constant. We can use a numerical example to uh, exemplify why this is useful. Right, so if we now uh, go back to our uh, favorite equilibrium so far, in which we here have, we don't have A and B, but we have glucose, 6-phosphate, and fructose, 6-phosphate, we have just calculated that the equilibrium constant for that process of 298 Kelvin is equal to 0 0.15. Okay, so we can calculate with the fraction of uh, fructose 6-phosphate. Equi that equilibrium would be simply a 0 0.50 over 1 plus 0 0.15. Okay, so that is uh, 0 0.50 over 1.50. Okay, and that is going to be one third. Okay, so 0 0.33. All right, so what that tells you is that, um, uh, again, when you uh, start the reaction, uh, the proportion of fructose exposure in the reaction mixture is only going to be 33%. The rest is actually going to be glucose phosphate. Okay, so Nagarian constant that is less than 1 is going to give you a fraction of product at equilibrium that is going to be less than 0 0.50. Okay, uh, that means that the reaction is not very displaced towards products. Instead, instead, you actually reach equilibrium very soon after uh, the reaction has started. You only get, again, of all of the species in solution, only 33% will be products. That's uh, the fraction of product at equilibrium.